Hello, how you doing? All right, so this is Aisley, and today I'm going to be going over showing you how to upload a document or e-sign, and then download it, and you can email it to whoever you want. So I'm gonna try to keep this short, sweet, and simple. So go to a website, and you do this all free. Go to a website, smallpdf.com. All right, so let me make sure I have my my pencil on right here. So you go to this website right here. All right, smallpdf.com, and type that in. All right, so you type that in. Um, it's going to bring up this website here, esignpdf.com. And when you go to that website, um, you don't even have to log in. The only thing you do is click choose file. And when you click choose file, or you can drop a file in there, you go to the file that you want, wherever it's at, whatever folder it's in. This is right here in my downloads. I click on that. I can drag it and drop it over here or I can just click open and now it's going to upload the file in here you can scroll down to the bottom section where you need to sign so this file I actually already signed so let me show you a file that I have not signed go back I'm go to this one here this is a blank one so when you get here the only two things you need to fill out in this form is print participant name and age. So you will go here, you'll create um, a text box. You'll go down here where you need to place it, and you can start typing. So click on the space bar, then you'll start typing. Spaces. And then type in this age 15. All right, so this is name and age. All right, and then you click out of it, click somewhere else, and there it is. You can hover your mouse back over it and move it where you want to place it. Then click your mouse over here. Now your son's name and age is there. For signature, only thing you do, you go over here, create a signature. I like to type instead of draw. So you type your name. All right, so if you type your name, I like to change the style. I like this style for my signature. You got two, three styles. Then you go to create. What's going to happen is your signature is going to be over here. So you click on signature and it pops up. You move it to where you need to move it. You make it smaller by clicking on these little handle areas in the corners. And then you move it down. All right, then you click away. If it's too big still, click on it again, make it smaller, move it, that's good enough. And then you need to put the date. Alright, for date, click right here that says add date. Um, today's date. Uh, this is the font size. I like to use 10. And you just click right here above date. And boom, it has put the date 02-17-2021. All right, if you need to move it, click on it, move it around, you can make it bigger, smaller. Uh, that's it. Make sure that you completed every, all the areas, name, child's name, age, signature of the guardian, date, go, nothing else to sign. You click finish and sign. Now it's uploading the document, finish signing that fast. Now you click up here where it says save or you could print it, but you save it, um, save to this device, um, save to your Dropbox, or save to your Google Drive. I'm going to save it to this the device. So now it's in my download folder, and it's done. Now I can go to my emails and attach it as an email and send it to whoever I need to send it to. All right, folks, so this is a quick uh, tutorial on how to upload a document that you have in eSign for free. Uh, use this for anything that you're doing. All right, y'all take care. Much success. God bless.